Hi guys, welcome back to the Happily Organized Challenge and today we're going to be talking about my cleaning routine. Um, I am such a routine person. I love working with this schedule. It makes me just feel so much more productive. Um, I get more, a lot more done if I'm working with a routine. Um, I've always worked with a cleaning routine, although my cleaning routine has changed quite a bit throughout the years as life changes and that sort of thing. I also like to change up my cleaning routine. If I start to get bored with my current one and start to slack, I change things up just to kind of keep myself interested and motivated. Um, but I do have three routines throughout the day that have not changed in years and I don't see them changing anytime soon. It's just something that works really well for me. It keeps my house clean on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, so I'm gonna talk about that first. Now, all the notes that you see in this video are in my Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, my note section is dedicated to like my home management. So um, I just find if I write things down, I'm more apt to stick with it and um, that sort of thing. So this is my routine section and over here is just kind of a list of my daily routine and then over here is a list of my morning, afternoon, and evening routine. Now these are the three routines that I've had for years that have been working out so well for me. So we'll start with my morning routine. The first thing I do is obviously get myself up and dressed and ready and all of that. Once that's done, I clean up my bedroom. So I make my bed and I just kind of tidy things up, put dirty laundry where it belongs and that sort of thing. Then I go ahead and wipe down my bathroom. So I start with my bathroom because that's where I get ready. I wipe that one down quickly and then I go into my master bath. So I wipe it down with a Clorox, um, or just like a disinfectant wipe. And then um, I bleach my toilet. So I just have a spray cleaner with bleach in it. I spray that in the toilet. If you do that every day, you hardly ever have to scrub your toilet. So I recommend that. Um, and then I just use a Tylex and quickly spray down my shower. Um, after that's done, then I put in a load of laundry. I typically do laundry almost every day. Um, if there's a load that needs to be done, I just put it in. Um, and then I unload my dishwasher and after that's done, that's when my kids start to get up. So um, then we do breakfast and all of that. And then the last thing is I tidy up the kids' bedroom. So I just, you know, there, my older son's responsible for making his bed. My younger son is three. He is not, I don't make him make his bed yet. He puts away his like stuffed animals and his blanket and all of that. Um, but as far as like making the bed, I usually do his and then my daughter's, I clean up her bedroom also. Um, so then I just kind of go about my day. Now my afternoon routine starts when the kids are down for their nap. And what I do um, during the afternoon is I just put everything back into its place. All of the toys, um, the dishes that are out from lunch, any clutter that's out, I put everything back in its place. Once that's done, then I wipe my surfaces. So I just go around with my Windex multi-surface cleaner. I start in the kitchen, wipe down all those surfaces, move on to my dining room, wipe those surfaces, then go on to my living room. So the main living area is where I wipe down my surfaces. Then I um, quickly sweep, and if it needs to be vacuumed, then I do a vacuuming, and if it needs to be mopped, I do a mop. I don't vacuum and mop every day, only when it's needed. Um, and then I fold and sort the clothes that have been washed in the morning. And then I do a daily to-do, which I'll get into that later on. And then I do have a section of time in my afternoon where I will record videos and edit them and that sort of thing. Um, and then we move on to my evening routine, which again starts after dinner and when we're kind of winding down for the day. So the first thing I do is I put the clothes away from the laundry that I've done that day. Then I like to lay out my clothes, my kids' clothes, and um, you know, my husband worries about his own clothes, but I do lay out clothes for the next day. It just makes our morning so much easier. And then again, um, once the kids are in bed, that's when I kind of start the next section. So I just put everything again back in its place, the clutter, the toys, the dishes from supper, all of that. I wipe surfaces again, I sweep, I start the dishwasher, I make my son's lunch for school, and then I write out a to-do list for the next day. By doing those three routines every day, my house stays really, you know, tidy and clean. I don't feel like overwhelmed, like I'm, you know, really needing to do a big clean the next day. Like I wake up to a clean house and I go to bed to a clean house. So it's really works out so, so great for me. I highly recommend 
I'm implementing, you know, some sort of routine like this into your life. Now, most people, if you're working, you probably wouldn't need to do an afternoon routine, but I'm home. My house gets lived in every single day. So, um, I do have an afternoon routine just to kind of keep it tidy and that sort of thing. And when the kids wake up from their nap, they're waking up to a clean house also. Um, so yeah, this just works out really, really well for us. Um, now I'm going to get on to my cleaning section of my planner. So um, I have over here, I have my daily to-dos. So if I'm having a rough day or if, you know, for some reason I didn't get to my morning, afternoon, and evening routines, these are my daily to-dos that must be done every day. Um, regardless. So make beds. I mean, that one is kind of give or take. I don't necessarily have to make beds, but this is, these are things that make me feel a lot better, um, at the end of the day. So if the beds are made, that's, you know, one of my priorities, wiping down the bathrooms, that's a priority for me. Laundry, laundry is just a must with a family of five. If I get really backed up on laundry, which definitely happens, um, I just get so overwhelmed and like frustrated. So laundry is definitely a big priority. I try to do that, keep up on that every day. Dishes, again, I mean, that's just a must. Like, I have to keep up with the dishes or we're not going to be eating on clean dishes. Um, and then the surfaces, my surfaces get so gross with three little kids and then my daycare kids, like, you can imagine. So I have to wipe down my surfaces at least once a day. Sweeping, again, with little kids, anyone with little kids knows you have to sweep every day. And then putting everything back in its place. That's a priority of mine, too. So those are kind of my top daily priorities. Then we move into my weekly section. So these are tasks that I try to have um, designated for, you know, a specific day. So Mondays are, I usually don't have daycare kids um, until after school. So Mondays are kind of like my catch up on cleaning day from the weekend. I like to declutter on Monday so that way I can go into the week with a decluttered home. So I have certain areas in my home that are like clutter catchers. Um, I have a bin in my hallway so I clean that out on Monday. Um, I clean off our bulletin board on Monday which how, like has our artwork for the week up. So I go through that, save only what is really special. And then I, um, you know, anything else that just needs decluttering throughout the house, I go ahead and do that on Mondays. And Mondays are also the day that I have designated for any like of those errands that I have to run or appointments just because I only have two kids with me instead of like six. <laughs> Tuesday is usually on a normal like week. I'm really going to try to have Tuesday be my recording day. So to record any videos that I want uploaded for that week, I'm going to try to do that on Tuesdays. Wednesday is my deep clean day. So I used to have each a room designated to a day a week if that makes sense so like Monday would be my kitchen day Tuesday bathrooms Wednesday laundry room like so on and so forth well I was finding that with my daily routines Monday uh, morning afternoon and evening routines I really didn't need to spend one entire day in one room so instead I just have Wednesday as my deep clean day so I get it all done in one day um, I really try to simplify my cleaning routine as much as possible and um, this has been working out really well. So Wednesday is the day where I really go ahead and scrub down the bathrooms, the kitchen. Those are the two areas that need it the most. Just the bathrooms and kitchen is what I really focus on. And then I just kind of do an overall dusting and vacuuming and you know anything that needs getting done. Thursday is just kind of like my rest day. I don't do a lot on Thursdays as far as cleaning. I do try to post a video on Thursdays or I will be trying to more regularly. Um, and then Fridays are when I clean our like makeshift playroom in the basement um, because we play down there like pretty much every single day. So by Friday it needs a really good cleaning. So I try to do that on Friday, just kind of you know nearing the end of the week and that sort of thing. And that's also the day that I go to the bank. Um, and get out the money for our cash envelopes and that sort of thing. And Saturday is my day to clean out our fridge and do meal planning. And Sunday is usually when I do groceries and my Walmart um, for my paper goods. So that way I'm starting the week with a full fridge and my paper goods are stocked and all of that. And now down here I have a monthly section. Okay guys, so this is my monthly section and um, what I try to do is look at my calendar. I have an overview page and I try to 
designate one day and I write in for that day, you know, that's my cleaning, end of month cleaning and organization day. So that way I know I don't want to plan, you know, anything on that day. That's my day to kind of do an end of month deep clean and reorganization. So the tasks that I do on that day is I declutter. I make sure that things are really, de really decluttered. Um, I do a purge. So I try to fill a trash bag full of things that we no longer need in our house that have accumulated over time. I try to do a deep clean. So that means like moving furniture, vacuuming under the furniture, like a really good deep clean once a month. And then I reorganize. So by that, I mean, I like to do a big toy rotation. So reorganizing the toys and anything else that needs to be really reorganized and gone through. That's when I um, take the time to do that. And I designate, like I said, one day where I just, you know, get to work and get it all done. Um, now over here on this section is my seasonal section. So I have different tasks that I like to do seasonally. So I have a spring, summer, fall, and winter section. Um, for spring, I like to reorganize the coat closet and entryway. Um, I talked about that in my coat closet video, how I do switch out closets seasonally. So I, at the beginning of a new season, that's when I go ahead and do that. In the spring, I also reorganize the garage. We clean up the yard and mulch the areas that need remulching. We clean and reorganize the outdoor toys. Um, touch up any paint or any damage from the winter. Do a spring cleaning. I always like to do a big spring cleaning, so I do that. Um, hire someone to power wash the house only when it needs it, but that's something I like to have written down just to remind me like, oh yeah, I need to schedule that. Um, I like to start planning my summer activities and summer schedule in the spring so that way I'm not spending time in the summer trying to plan activities. I know what we have going on and we can just have fun and enjoy that season. Um, we also like to um, get the lawnmower serviced if it needs it and restock on my inventory list. I have an inventory list in my planner of things that I really like to have on time uh, on hand sorry and um, I like to um, kind of go through that list seasonally just to make sure it's all stocked up. I find that's a good time to get, really go through that. And then just reorganize closets so all of our clothing, make sure that everything is um, appropriate sizes for the kids and that they have clothes that will fit them and you know restock their closets for the next season and that sort of thing. Um, and then for summer, again, we just reorganize the coat closet and entryway, reorganize the garage, um, yard, just kind of keeping up with the yard maintenance, installing um, air conditioners. We have air conditioners in our windows, so we don't keep those in all year round. So we do install those at the beginning of the summer. And then again, restock inventory list and reorganize closets. Fall to-do list is to, let's see, reorganize coat closet and entryway. That's kind of redundant. Um, reorganize the garage, clean out um, outdoor toys and store them away. Rake check snowblower and get it main uh, maintenance if needed. Plan our winter budget. Winter is a very expensive time of the um, year here because of oil and Christmas and all of that. So in the fall, my husband and I like to sit down and um, really get an idea of where we want to go with our winter budget and that sort of thing. Um, store ace air conditioners, um, do a fall cleaning. So I do a spring and fall cleaning. I like to get things really clean before winter hits because once winter's hit and you know everything's closed in and it's just not like you don't want to open the door or the windows to really do a good cleaning so I like to do that in the fall and spring and then reorganize closets again and then for the winter again just reorganizing coat closet and entryway reorganize garage winterize our home so um, you know just checking the windows make sure they're sealed well the doors all of that um, start my holiday planning and prep and then plan indoor activities for kids um, with the daycare especially winter is tough you know they get cabin fever and get kind of sick of being inside all the time so I, I like to kind of have a running list of different activities and this winter I found like we went through those activities pretty quickly so I'm gonna have to start coming up with new ideas also um, and then again just reorganize closets so by having all of this listed out I can just um, look at you know what are my tasks for the beginning of spring summer fall and winter and just get get it done 
So that's really how I have organized my cleaning um, routine. I know it might sound overwhelming because I gave you a lot of information at once, but really the most important thing with my cleaning routine um, would have to be my morning, afternoon, and evening routines. That's my daily, like, daily thing that I just, it keeps me really on top of the house and housework and all of that. And then of course my weekly tasks, um, again, you know, are definitely, um, you know, things that keep me on top of everything. So that is how I have everything organized and I keep on top of my housework. I mean, I'm really, I'm definitely love to, I'm a cleaner. I love to clean. I love seeing the progress of like, oh, you know, having a messy house and then getting it clean. I just love cleaning and organizing and all of that. So I get really excited to, to talk about um, these different routines and that sort of thing. So if you have any questions or, you know, comments, definitely go, feel free to ask. I'd love to answer any questions that you have. Um, or if you're struggling to find a schedule that would fit well with you, you know, definitely send me a message and I'll help you, um, you know, try to work out something that, you know, might help you. So, so that's how I keep my house clean and organized and all of that on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm, I am by no means trying to brag or anything because trust me, there are days where my laundry is like to the roof. It's <laughs> so backed up and there are times where it looks like a bomb went off in my house. So I'm in no way perfect, but by doing these routines, it definitely helps me stay on top of things. So thanks so much for watching guys. Thanks for listening to me ramble on and I'll see you soon.